Alright, so we're going to do a setup on this 302 and we'll go into a little bit more detail. Um, the machine takes some um, labels on the roll. As you can see here, we have a mandrel that holds the roll of labels. And you just slide it on and then you put your guides on. Usually you want to run it in the center line. And you just go ahead, flex the wings, and then make sure it goes into the holes. I've already disconnected the brake arm spring. As you can see here, so that allows me to grab the labels. And I'm just going to feed it through the machine. So it goes underneath the brake arm, which swings backwards and forward. It goes underneath this stainless steel support roller. And we just go forward. And it goes in between this idler roller and this matte black pinch roller. Just like it's sticking its tongue out at you. We're going to pop out the peel bar. This is where the label gets separated. Put the material over it. And we drop it into place with the sharp edge facing up. And it's nice and even across. Then I like to make a point. And I just insert the material, the vacuum material, between the 4 inch roller and the 8 inch pinch roller. And you can see it automatically deflects towards the back of the machine. So then go ahead, feed out some material. We have a waste rewind, just like a roll of toilet paper, spring loaded. Goes in one way, just turn it. There's a little slit. And just go ahead and wrap it around at least once. If there's a little bit of a wrinkle there, it doesn't matter. It will even itself out. Okay, and then you want to reattach the brake arm spring. And what the brake arm spring does is um, it prevents more than one label going onto the container. So it's very important to get that reattached. And the other thing you could do is you could even it out. Try to straighten it as best you can by eye. That just allows you to prevent um, lust label labels from being wasted. You can see here, just kind of feed it out. And when you have extra material like this, it allows um, the labels to straighten themselves out. And after you feed a couple labels, then you can bring these um, guides in. And that kind of locks the labels into place. So it's a fairly simple setup. Um, no special tools required. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to grab one of these. Normally, the procedure would be to um, go ahead and just lift up the overhead pressure arm. And you have your guides. And you, could, you would just open them up. And you would just go see where the label's being applied. And with a glass container, it's easy because you can look through it. And you would just go ahead and aim where you think the label needs to go. You'd move your guides in to simple thumb locks. And you would also adjust for the diameter. As you can see here, I could open this up for a very large diameter container. When you adjust for the container, you want to make sure it's supported by both sets of rollers, the front and the back, and it's just hovering over the peel bar by about a quarter of an inch. It doesn't have to be an exact adjustment. And then we would adjust our overhead pressure arm. The machine comes with an Allen wrench tool. You can loosen it up, the middle arm, and you can slide it left and right. And that allows you to, um, the rule of thumb is to put it in the center line of the label, as you can see here. And when you go ahead and tighten it up, there's a little bit of a, um, there's a stop on this side, the right side. Just want to put a little bit of a gap. And that allows you to put the container in, in and out without having to lift this up each and every time. Just to demonstrate, just kind of takes it out of my hand and guides itself. And you can just pop it out.
and you can still see even with the spout there's good clearances which works really really well the other nice thing about the advent is we have a fully adjustable rollers so if you have a recessed area on your container you could put the um, the tires where the label is and that allows it to get wrapped around in the recessed area very tightly without any bubbles or wrinkles and fairly accurately that would be like a can or a water bottle you can see we've moved some of them out just to clear these guides so they don't get damaged that would just be set screws on the rear ones and then the front we just use pressure to move them left and right just to show you and you can move it back into place and you can always check your work by just inserting the container and see how it spins if it spins nice and um, smoothly it's in constant contact with the um, wall of the container then it's usually the label is going to go on very nicely and we'll go ahead and test that so I just go ahead and tap you can see here a single label goes on now you can see here this one's a little bit off and that could be because we haven't fed any labels yet so um, usually I would always do at least one or two containers um, before you check uh, make any adjustments you can see the position is actually fairly good and we'll have our final container here insert you can see here this one's actually a little bit better and it might be because I'm getting a little bit too high to the shoulder so the adjustment would be to move the container up Oops, that might be a little bit too much so I'm just moving it and then we'll go ahead I'll just use the same container just so you can see how corrects itself. You can see I moved it down and gained a little bit further away from this rounded um, edge up here. You can see the um, it's going on much more accurately. Sometimes when you get up too high or too low on the container you're getting away from that sweet spot. So it's very very important to find that spot and then um, make your final adjustment.